All right, Fedora's done installing, and I quit the installer, but let me just show you what the desktop looks like before I restart. It's the typical Fedora GNOME desktop, you know. Very basic GNOME. They've changed the icons a little bit. The background is beautiful. Look at that. That's nice. Now, my main gripe with uh, Fedora in the past, it was mainly with 12. The fact that 12 just didn't work at all. <sighs> Excuse me. We can restart right now, and we can actually boot into the op into the operating system off the virtual hard drive. Now I'm going to have to eject the. Uh... God damn it! Unmount the DVD device and restart the machine again. Move this down a bit. All right, now it's starting from the uh, the hard drive, the virtual hard drive that is. White balance, white balance. All right, there we go. The Fedora bars, as I call them. We. Oh, by the way, the host operating system is Linux Mint 9, 64-bit, which is essentially Ubuntu 10.04, because that's basically what it is in the back end. All right, I'm still at 512 RAM, remember that, so once I pump it up to 1 gig, it'll probably be faster than this. And on actual hardware, it'll be tons faster than this because I'm virtualizing this on a 40-year-old CPU. And you'll see a video of that eventually as well. All right, we get the setup screen right here. Yeah, click forward. Username. And do all that stuff. Not caps lock. Tab. Go forward. Yes, it's a virtual machine. It doesn't matter. Synchronize the time over the network. Which it should do out of the box, really. I always send the hardware profiles just so the Fedora people have a good uh, survey of what kind of hardware people have because hardware was their problem in the last release. Alright, that's the mouse within Fedora, so... That's a gnome cursor. Alright. Mint TV box fab, it worked. Alright, let's log in. That sound sounds normal to me. Little boom. I remember that from uh, Fedora 11. So this is reminding me a lot of Fedora 11, which I did like. And that's a good thing. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, Menus kind of went. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a smooth little effect there. All right, everything's loading over here now. We got GNOME loaded. All right, now we have the desktop loaded. I had no problems installing this. That's a first. So let's see what version of Firefox this has. Three point six point three. That's pretty new. All right, Fedora t Fedora th uh, twelve. Fedora thirteen is looking good. Now, what happened last time with me is that software update would not update itself. The updater would actually crash, which was a big fail in my book. So let's see if it actually. Let's see if this is any faster and if it works.
take a look at my router. Number one is the uh, Linux Mint computer. So I don't know if the frame rate can pick it up on my on my phone here, but it looks like it's a uh, yeah doing stuff. Their servers are so slow. <laughs> there are only two updates. Let's see if they install. Resolving dependencies. That's always a good thing. Updates for package management and yum. So, not very big at all. So it's going to resolve the dependencies. All right. Checking for applications currently in use. All right, now it's resolving dependencies again for the second one. Now it's downloading them, testing the changes. Installing updates. All right, it's installing. Yeah, this is a lot faster. Keep in mind, 512 RAM in a virtual machine, and this is kicking ass right now compared to Fedora 12. Cleaning up the packages. All right. <laughs> Ding. Food's done. <laughs> All right, what's this? There are 104 updates available. What? Wow, <laughs> so it just detected the 104 update. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, I missed a lot of updates there. Whew. Well, it's good that they have all these updates out. But even without all these updates, Fedora 13 seems very stable and very nice so far. I've had, there were no problems during installation. There were no problems updating, which is what was the problem in Fedora 12. Looks pretty good so far. I, I'm going to have to use it a lot more to really uh, become familiarized with it. But, but right now, it looks good. Very good <clears throat> to me. At least the first impression is good. Second impression, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to install it on some hardware and use it. But yeah, that's just a look at uh, Fedora 13 which I've been anticipating for a while because Fedora 12 sucks so much. So, uh, yeah. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.